Hello Leo, this is Renee and welcome to my channel. This reading will be your next big romance. Who is your next big romance? Leo, we're going to take a look at your energy and we're going to take a look at the person coming into your life. Um, we're going to look at their energy. Then we're going to take a look at some characteristics about this person. We're going to see where this love connection is going. And then we're going to take some advice. So Leo, if this sounds interesting to you, please stick around for the reading. And we'll get into it. If this reading doesn't resonate with you, um, make sure to take a look at your moon and rising sign. However, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Alright. Spirit, what is Leo's energy and love at this moment? What is Leo's energy? We have treat yourself to something beautiful today. Okay, so you're very focused on yourself right now. Leo, you're focused on nourishing your body, increasing your vibrations. Um, you may be trying to feel more grounded. You may be taking a lot of cleansing baths, you know, getting yourself together, changing your style. But I feel like you're very focused on yourself. Leo, we have the golden children, inner child, tenderness, innocence, rare gifts. Yeah, you're definitely focused on, the, on yourself. You're focusing on what you're doing in life, on your gifts, on being more kind to yourself. You're trying to give yourself that love that you know um, you should give yourself you know we have the void stop embrace winner great cosmic womb um, so Leo I feel like you're at this time in your life where you're really thinking about settling down you're really thinking about the future I feel like that's the reason why you're taking taking better care of yourself you're really thinking about starting a family you know, finding that love that is the one. You know, you're you're trying to focus on you. This person, they like to help people. They like to be very social. They may do a lot of volunteering. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person's energy, spirit. Ask for help from others. Yeah, I feel like, look, we have helpful people and ask for help from others. So this person may work in a profession where they're constantly helping people, where they're constantly giving advice. Uh, they may be some kind of advisor. They may be some kind of counselor. Um, they may be a doctor, but I feel like they're constantly communicating with someone to offer them um, advice on their situation. They may be a psychiatrist, um, but I feel like this person communicates very well. This person knows how to say how they feel. Um, they know how to communicate their needs very well. Tell me more about this person's spirit power and intention. Yeah, so like I said, I feel like this person is in a profession where they, they are very powerful, where they, they can do, um, make the hard decisions. I feel like this person is like the last resort. They may be some kind of specialist and they're constantly helping people. People are constantly going for them for help, you know, and this person is also a good manifester. Um, 
And I feel like they may be manifesting something into their life, Leo. Tell me more about this person's spirit. What are this person's characteristics? What is this person like as a person? What is this person like? The Five of Swords. Okay, so I feel like this person is very... They deal with challenges. They deal with obstacles. Like I said, I feel like this person is in a profession where they give advice. They may also be so in some kind of sports medicine. Um, but I really feel like this person deals with a lot of challenges. We have the High Priestess. Yeah, this person is trying to master their intuition. That's what this power and intention. This person is definitely manifesting. This person is very trustworthy. Um, but I do feel like there's things that this person may not be able to tell you. There's some things that this person may not be able to let you know right away. We have the Queen of Pentacles. This person is definitely very resourceful. But I feel like I feel like they're very caring. They may also have pets. I'm really focused on how these animals are interacting with the queen. Um, how this dog is just lying at this queen's feet and she's cradling this pinnacle just like you would a child. This person is very caring. I feel like they're, they're grounded in nature. They may spend a lot of time in nature. Um, like I said, I feel like this person may be into some kind of sports medicine or some kind of something to do with sports to where there's challenges and obstacles you know and I'm dropping cards all over but I feel like this person is very caring they're very resourceful the devil okay yeah this person may also deal with the addiction I'm really getting that this person is an advisor of, of some kind they speak with people about situations we have the five of cups yeah this may be a psychiatrist some kind of or a psychologist someone who really listens to people's thoughts. Someone who helps people through situations where they have loss, where they have addiction, where they have secrets to tell. You know? That's how I'm feeling about this person. I feel like that's what they're doing. We have the fool. Very interesting about this person. This person may travel a lot. They may travel a lot for their profession. But I feel like this person has a great big new hope. You know, they take a lot of risks. For some reason, I feel like this person flies a lot. We have the King of Cups.
so this person, they're very supportive. They have an ear to listen. They're very caring, very empathetic. I feel like they, they feel very deep, but they're able to control how they're feeling. They're able to control their emotions. I feel like this person is very strong. You have the Five of Wands. You have to tell me about this person in the comments. If you're with this person or if you have met this person, please tell me in the comments below because this person is very, I don't know, they're very well-rounded. This person has a lot of mystery. It's very hard to read. Very hard to read. But I definitely feel like although this person has this professional profession, I feel like, you know, they're a good listener. They're very supportive, but I also feel like they're very playful. They're very fun to be around, you know? I feel like they're training in something. They're training in something. Tell me more about this person. They have a lot of priorities. This person carries a lot of weight. I feel like in their job and in their life, this person has a lot of responsibilities. They, but I feel like they're prior, prioritizing them, you know. Um, they may have a full calendar, but I feel like this person is very well organized. They're carrying everything that they're intended to carry, you know. The Ace of Swords. So this person is very intelligent. They're very book smart. They're also very... Um, truthful. Very honest. I really feel like this person gives advice. They help someone receive mental clarity on situations. They help someone through their conflicts. Um, but I feel like this person is very, very, very smart. Very, a very large intellect. <laughs> okay. We have the Seven of Swords. You know what, Leo, I feel like this person, their, their intellect is so beyond, and I hate to say this, and please don't take it the wrong way, but I feel like their intellect is way beyond yours, and I feel like when they say certain things, they come across as being sneaky or being conniving. I feel like you are kind of feeling like they're saying something to kind of dumb you down. But I feel like this person is just being themselves. You know what I mean? Um, and that's not exactly a bad thing. Um, but I do feel like this person, you have the Knight of Swords. I feel like this person is very charming. They're very well-rounded. They're very witty. I feel like this person may be always on the move. You know? They're always going somewhere. 
they're always in a rush. The Five of Pentacles. I feel like this person has everything that they need, everything that they would want, but they feel like they're still lacking. They feel like they don't have enough. They feel like they there's something missing, something that they haven't gotten. That may be love. There's not a whole lot of love here. Um, I feel like this person is very well-rounded, very, you know, caring, very giving. But I don't see a whole lot of love. It's just telling me about this person. Um, maybe we'll find more out about this person with the next. Yeah, we have the temperance. So I feel like on a personal level, this person feels like they're lacking. And they may feel like they're out of balance. Like they need more balance. But I feel like this person is looking for something that maybe someone else provides. I feel like this person is looking for love. This person is looking for that personal interaction, that personal connection. They're looking for that balance in love, you know. Um... I feel like they feel like they've been patient enough for long enough. Now they're just ready. Yeah, we have the Knight of Wands. They, they've waited long enough. They've waited long enough. Now they're ready to take inspired action to, you know, create a love that they can call their own. I feel like this person is ready to to move into that next level. They're ready to move into whatever love is to them. Because we have the Page of Wands. So I really feel like this is a new interaction for this person. But this person has this idea of what should be or what can look like to them. And I feel like they're ready to move towards that situation. And that they're ready to create it. To make it their own. You know. Um, I really feel like this person. Is just ready to settle down. They're ready to make moves on their future. I feel like this person has everything else that they want. But they just don't have love. And I feel like this person has very good boundaries. They've set boundaries that are sustainable for them because I feel like they're focused on their profession they're focused on you know making their profession work out for them and let's see we have spying on you so definitely I feel like when you meet this person they'll definitely be looking at you they, they may be looking at your background they may be checking you out checking out your social media um, they may even drive past your place you know, to see if you're at home. Um, but I, I really feel like this person, when you meet them, I feel like they're they're drawn to you, Leo. You're very magnetic. You're very attractive to this person. I need to be honest. Yeah, like I said, I feel like there's mysteries about this person that they can't really tell you right away. But I feel like the more you're with this person, the more you kind of dive deeper into the situation, I feel like the more they're honest with you, the more they tell you things that you need to know. But I feel like this person, like I said, I feel like they've set boundaries. So I feel like they, they're not going to give you all of the answers all at once. I feel like they're going to give give you the answers slowly. Very slowly. And friends with benefits. Okay. So they, you may start out with friends. Start out as friends. And work into this situation. You know. You may be a friends with benefits kind of situation before it turns into love, you know, before it's full-blown love. 
Tell me more about this person, Spirit. Tell me more about this person. Blowing kisses. Yeah, they're addicted to you, Leo. They're addicted to you. They want to be with you. They're daydreaming. They're daydreaming about Leo. They want to find out more about you. They want to get to know you. They want to see where this is going. I will fight for you. Definitely. This person is very loving, very caring. But I also feel like they're in need of healing in some way. Because I feel like they've, they've put all their focus on their lifestyle, on their profession, on creating a life that they desire, but they forgot about love. So I, I feel like this person is in need of training. They're in need of healing, you know, so that they can be prepared to be a good mate, you know, to be a good partner, to be a good companion. I feel like this person needs training in order to do that. Okay, Spirit, please tell me more about this connection. Where is this connection leading to? Tell me about this connection with Leo and their next big romance. Tell me about this connection. The Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is going to turn into something very long term. Leo, this is something that is full of desire, full of passion, full of, of love and giving. Um, I feel like you're, you're not going to hold back with this situation. I don't feel like this person is going to hold back neither. Um, once you get past their boundaries that they set, I feel like this person is an open book. Yeah, the Four of Wands. This is going to turn out to be something very special. Very celebrated. This is going to be a companion. This is going to turn into family. You know, I feel like this is going to turn into the next step, the next phase. And this is going to be very strong. Very strong, very loving, very giving. This person is has a lot of self-respect. And they want to give you that same. They, they want to give you a lot of respect. They want to take care of your heart. This person really wants to love you unconditionally. Leo. Beautiful energy. Yeah. Okay. Yes. What did I say, Leo? The lovers. This is something that's going to be beautiful. This may be your twin flame. This may be your soulmate coming through for you, Leo. But this is definitely turning into a love like no other. Beautiful energy. The Three of Cups. Yeah, you're definitely going to celebrate this situation. People are going to celebrate you in this situation. This is not only love, this is also friendship, support. This person is entering your circle, you know. They're becoming, a, a circle is, there's no gap, there's no ending. It just keeps going in a circle. That's what I feel like. This is going to be infinite love. Very beautiful energy. Very beautiful. At the bottom we have the two of wands. So yeah, this is something that you've been waiting for. This is your future. These are plans. You're going to be making plans to marry, to be together. You're going to be setting the stage 
you know, to take that walk. You may be also going on a trip or traveling with this person. You know, I feel like you are, you're just in this beautiful energy, Leo. Tell me more about this situation. How does Leo feel about this connection? How does Leo feel about this connection? Tell me, Spirit, how does Leo feel about this connection? The palm tree. Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. Yeah, this, this is your stability. This is something that's going to be long term, Leo. This is something that's going to last, endure, grow, prosper. You know? Wow. Okay, look what I got. We have soulmates. This is going to be a soul connection, a partnership, agreement, a soul contract. There's going to be wedding rings, a union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Definitely. That's how this person feels about this connection. This connection is very important to you and this person. Whereas you are feeling very stable, very loved, very cared for. Um, you're secure. This person sees you as a soulmate, as their mate, as someone that they want to marry. Tell me more about this connection, spirits. Tell me more about this connection. Where is this connection going for Leo and this person? Coffee cup. You're going to be meeting. You're going to be conversing. You're going to be just taking in the moment. This situation is going to make you uplifted. This is going to bring you a lot of friendship. But I feel like this person is going to ask you out. They may ask you to a coffee shop. You know, they may ask you to Starbucks or to a quaint little coffee shop where you can sit and just talk and get to know each other. But I, I feel like this person wants to know more about you. Definitely. They want to know more about you. Okay, Leo, this is what I have for you. Okay, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And if this doesn't resonate, which I don't know, <laughs> I would want it to. But if this doesn't resonate, go ahead and take a look at your moon and rising sign if I have them uploaded. And Leo, until the next reading, many blessings and love and light.